What is it like? Is it is it a holiday? Is it is it what is it like to work on? Well, no film's a holiday. Um, that's that's as that's not to say it isn't a luxury, but it it is certainly isn't a holiday. I mean, you know, you work sixteen hours a day, six days a week. So forget the holiday. But um, it's certainly one of the greatest pleasures I've ever had making this film. Partly because it was a return to a group of people I already knew. One of the big efforts that you make every time you start on a film is getting to know everybody. Because to me, it's very important that it is a family and that everyone in the family is happy and together and having a good time. And that requires a good deal of energy. Now, if you know everyone, you can turn up and say, you know, hi. And it was like we hadn't, two, a year and a half hadn't passed. Because you must remember, it's not only James and Ismail and Tony and I, it's also uh, the director of photography, Tony Fitz Roberts, um, the designer, Luciana Aridi, who won her Oscar last year at the Howard's End, um, this year, really. Um, same camera crew. I mean, it was wonderful. And therefore, you can get to work much quicker. Because the better you know the people on set, the more invisible they are when you, when you act. If you don't know people, you feel like they're sort of watching you and there's, there's a, a barrier between you. But if you're all friends, then you somehow, they somehow sort of disappear and you can pretend that you're on your own. And it's easier to play the game. I think you have to do all the, 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 the preparation beforehand. Think, 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 think. And then you get onto the set and don't think at all. Just let it go. Um, and that's, I think, the way Tony and I both work. So we don't rehearse very much. We'll read a scene. And if there's a problem with it, we'll have a, a rehearsal. But if there isn't, we're more likely to say, let's leave it alone, get on set, and see what happens. And James is the same. He'll let us. He'll say, well, what do you want to do? We have to do it in this room. Um, the limits are very you know, obvious. We can't shoot it from above, and we can't shoot it from outside. So where do you want to go? And we'll, we'll stick the camera where you want it. And then the DP will say, well, you know, we need a bit of space here so if we get the camera here is that okay and then we'll go in and work it out from there so it's very much a collaboration which is one of the nicest things about it it's never a question of being told what to do well ken gives a lot more notes because he's younger i think um and has sort of tremendous energy and sort of feels that you know he should kind of pump you up not with me, because we know each other too well, so he leaves me alone completely and just relies on me to get on with it. And perhaps for me, it's very, it, it's kind of similar, because I am kind of left. And that's how, how I like it, you know. I like to be sort of, I like to be kind of invisible and just get on there and do it and then go away again, you know. I don't like, um, I don't like to be focused on, if you see what I mean which is odd, because, of course, I am focused on all the time. Well, one hopes so. It changes as the years go by. My challenge, I think, now is to... The thing I really would like to do is write a screenplay that tells a love story about um, a much older woman, say, a woman of 55, 60. Um, I, I've got an idea in my mind about that that I'd really like to write and perhaps direct, um, because... I feel as though I've had a lot of opportunities, and it behooves me now to plow some ideas and some material back into the system. You know, instead of spending now the rest of my life searching for the next great role. I mean, obviously, I'd like to do more acting. I don't want to give up acting, but I also would like to do some writing and 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 produce some material um, for other people to play. So um, I think that's become the the idea now, and that's exciting. You know, because that's something I can do for the rest of my life. Personally, I'm thrilled, because I think Spencer Tracy and Catherine Netburn are two of the greatest screen actors of all time. Um, but I, I mean, and I kind of see the connection, you know? I mean, that, that the fact that, that Tony is sort of so strong and so sort of real, like Spencer Tracy, I mean, I think that the, there are connections. And the, the, the Catherine Hepburn is one of my favorite actresses, you know, it's, it's very thrilling to be compared to people like that. But, I mean, obviously, you're, one isn't those people, you're completely different. But you hope that if you're giving half as much pleasure as those two gave their audiences, then you're really getting somewhere.